Hello. This is Lifeseeker128, and I am playing Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands with Rebuild the Republic, or Rebuild the Capital, rather, not the Republic, the Capital, which is a Brotherhood of Steel expansion mod for Fallout 3 that has been ported to A Tale of Two Wastelands. And I have been mostly wandering around looking for quests to do with RTC and um, there hasn't been a lot other than at my office and we already did all of those so let's uh, see what the VRA has. The VRI Research Academy. Hmm. You gonna kill me or something? No? Okay. I'm the boss. Anyway. Morning. Dr. Hermes? Greetings, Field Marshal. My name is Knight Sergeant Hermes. Although these days I go by the title of Doctor. Now, what can I help you with? Um, you were once a knight? I still am, technically speaking. Once a knight, always a knight. Even if I am serving in a less combat-oriented role. I am in charge of providing medical services here at the Academy, so to reflect, I have been going by doctor rather than my rank. Between you and me, I am looking forward to the day when I am called a knight again. My dude, you have a positively massive terminal in front of you. What the fuck? How did you end up here? Scribes here needed a medical officer, and so I was recommended. Before this post, I was a combat medic. To be honest, I believe I would be doing more good treating wounded on the battlefield. Instead, I am here treating burn wounds when a scribe's experiment goes wrong. I am just hoping I get a promotion out of this. What does a knight know about medicine? A fair question, Field Marshal. Most of my knowledge relates to field triage in combat situations. It was useful when fighting in the ruins, but here most of, m most of my patients suffer from food poisoning from a bad Mama Dole's snack. I am just waiting on the day when a scribe's laser experiment goes awry and someone loses a limb. Then I can practice the kind of medicine I am an expert on. Well, that's why you're here. All right. Good job. Yeah, look at this fucking massive thing. Holy shit. I see. Okay. Oh, that's right. <sighs> Fuck. That makes a lot of sense. I will be right back. So this is why when pulling my Pip-Boy out is responsible for triggering my Stealth-Boy 
effect because of the West Tech driver so yeah we need that back with a good thing. A lesson learned. Okay. And it no longer works normally, which is the bad thing. Oh. I could just fly there. Okay, and now everybody should be awake because it's daytime now. Yeah, they're posted on the baseball field just outside. Okay, and I wanted uh, uh, which building? Oh, right, the, the blue one. Let's go to the blue one. Yeah. Administration. I happened upon administration first, which was interesting. So anyway, so how it works, you do that, right? And then if you want to turn it off, you just do this. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, it's much easier that way, but thing is, you need a dark place to open your pit boy against, which isn't ideal, because it doesn't come with a black background of its own. There is probably a solution to that, but I'm probably past it. Either that, or it's glitched the fuck out. Braves. I should probably wear those. Sir Knight. Hello. Oh, Knight Captain Free. Field Marshal, it is good to see you again. I was wondering when you would meet again, when we would meet again after the adventure we had at the Enclave Bunker. Seems you gained a promotion since last we met. A step closer to Paladin, right, Field Marshal? However, I didn't expect the promotion to land me behind a desk working alongside a bunch of scribes. Still, I am enjoying the new rank, and the times are changing, I suppose. Now, what can I do for you as head of security at the Academy? I would expect a paladin to be in command of a, of a facility this large. As would most, but senior scribe Stigel insisted that no paladins be posted here. Damn. He wanted it to be clear that the academy was not a military base, but a research center. Okay. Paladin Joyner is an exception because she is here solely for the purpose purposes of study. So that leaves me in command of this campus's skeleton security force. And Scribe Stiegel doesn't have to worry about butting heads with a paladin. He is undisputedly in charge here. So is the Vree Research Academy named after you or something? After my, after me personally? No, it is not. It's named after a forebear of mine, a famed scribe who served during the war with the Unity, with the Unity, some centuries ago. Unity. I come from a long lineage of scribes, although I chose not to follow in those footsteps, unlike my sisters. 
My rejection of the scribe path has always been a point of contention with my mother, Senior Scribe Vri. I guess I should mention you can find my mother and sisters in the order of the sword building next door. What is it like working so close to your family? I don't really see them all that much since we work in separate buildings. Whether or not that is a good thing, I guess depends on how much you value family. Not that there would be much to say even if we did have family time. And that's the truth. After I became an initiate, the, my scribe sisters mocked me for choosing the knuckle-dragging order of knights. And my mother, well, she doesn't have much to say to me. If I see her, I am simply met with a disappointed gaze. I apologize, Field Marshal. I am sure you are uninterested in such mundane familial drama. Do you enjoy working alongside scribes? Since my mother was a scribe, I am more accustomed to their idiosyncrasies than most knights. Still, working under scribe Stegel is something else entirely. He is eccentric, t eccentric to say the least, and his knowledge or perhaps obsession with art makes him unique in the Brotherhood, if not the entire wasteland. I certainly understand why they call him the Ivory Scribe. Why do they call him the Ivory Scribe? There is the cliché that scribes are focused on their research to the point they are uninterested with the daily happenings of the world around them. But Scribe Shizhul seems to live solely in the ivory tower of his mind, and his obsession with art is extreme even by scribe standards. While elder lions might appreciate his dedication to preserving the arts, there are many who don't view him in such a positive light, especially after his expedition to the American Art Gallery. Okay, what happened? Somehow, Scribe Stegel managed to convince Elder Lyons to allow him to organize an expedition to the art museum in the mall. Like most buildings in the mall, the museum was occupied by super mutants. The expedition suffered heavy casualties, but Scribe Stegel returned with a large number of paintings and other works of art. Many paladins were angered by the loss of life over a collection of faded portraits and broken statues, but Scribe Stegel was firm and unapologetic in his defense of the exp expedition, and Elder Lyons shielded him from much criticism. Some say that expedition was a factor in Kasdan's desertion and the formation of the outcast. I think that is a harsh accusation, and for what it is worth, I believe Scribe Stegel is a perfectly fine man and a diligent scribe. Still, there are plenty who think Scribe Stegel has continued to fail upwards due to his good relationship with the Elder. Okay. Failing upwards. I must meet this man, this obsessed person. Hey, it's Hermes. Password to Doctor's Terminal. I'm mainly casing the joint. Seeing what is worth my karma. I mean, 
this is pretty cool stuff. You know me, I have to take every skill book. Every single one. And every lootable pre-war book. These are not... By the way, I really should go ahead and um, go ahead and add pre-war books, among other things, to the TAC filter. I mostly wanted to open that for the experience. It's not like I'm pr planning to steal anything from there. Not yet. Looks like everyone's gone to sleep. Perfect time to be looking for shit to steal. <sighs> I am kind of two parts thief, one part sniper for this build. So forgive me for stealing everything under their noses. Although the build depends on high karma, so I can't do too much stealing. Or that would completely tank my frickin' HP, among other things. Because life giver. Hello. Oh, hey. Ah, Field Marshal. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I am Senior Scribe Steedle, and I have the honor of managing the Vri Research Academy. I hope you enjoy your visit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. How is work here? Things are going well, although the orders are always in competition with one another over resources and funding. I must be very careful in how I distribute funds to the Order, or else I will be accused of favoritism. Which is why I am hoping you might help me, or share the burden with a decision I must make. Uh, what do you need? Except for Liberty Prime, the study of robotics has never been too much of a concern for the Brotherhood. But the times are changing and there is plenty of research that can be done on robotics. The question is, which order should oversee this new field of research? This is not a decision I can make alone without disrupting the careful balance among the scribal orders. I was hoping you might decide for me which order will charge with studying robots. What are the order's research proposals? If you want to see robots used for military purposes, the Order of the Sword or the Order of the Shield are the most obvious choice. Order of the Shield will focus on the more defense capabilities of robots, while the Order of the Sword will improve their offense capabilities. The Order of the Quill has some interesting suggestions on how to use robots to help improve the productivity of settlements. It is your choice which proposal sounds best for the future of robotics. I know which one. Perfect. Which order would you like to see study robotics? Uh, the shield. Surely robotics research. Our robots need the upgraded armor. I will inform Senior Scribe O'Gallagher right away that her order has been 
rewarded the funding. I am sure she will want to thank you. I believe journeyman Airwig, Airwing, Airwing, will be heading the Order's first project on robotics, so feel free to speak with him if you are interested in helping. The Order of the Shield in charge of robotics research all Brotherhood of Steel robots now have increased damage resist. That's pretty good. I like that. means we're spending less on parts to fix them. He's on to me. scribes that sleep here. I don't know. Might actually be better just to skip to daytime and have them all wake. I don't know, man. Well, at least I managed to talk to that one. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? I don't think I did. That's a bathroom. I think it would be better to wake them all up. Let's go 12 hours. I'm a freaking cyborg. I don't need sleep. Hey. The mushroom? Okay, you don't have anything for me anymore. I'm a scribe. City. Hey, can we talk to you yet? City, at your service. If you ever need supplies, you can come speak with me at the armory, or whatever counts as an armory here. Uh, much combat? Not much. I can't complain, though. I just finished a rather nasty tour of the ruins. I think I'm going to enjoy my life counting bullets at the armory. Do you have enough? We have enough supplies to deal with any super mutants or raiders that wander too close to the perimeter. But should things get hairy, maybe I can use some of those fancy gadgets the scribes are cooking up to defend the academy. That is unless I get cornered in the Order of Quills building. I don't happen to know if super mutants get paper cuts, do you? Join sharing your post with scribes? I didn't really bump into scribes all too often back at the Citadel. They mainly kept to their corner while the knights kept their corner. It certainly takes time getting used to these eggheads. They don't always have the best sense of humor. I am hoping just one of them will let me test out 
some kind of experimental plasma gun or advanced power armor. But the scribes don't like sharing their toys. Supplies. Mods. Ooh, mods. I'm tempted to just say, take, I'll take your entire stock. But, uh, I don't know. What you got? Nothing. Okay. I get things nowhere sometimes. I don't know. Shut up, phone. Yes, I am very rude to my electronics. Don't at me. As I am very rude to my robots. Except for Eddie. Eddie can do no wrong. Here we go again. You'll see when we get there. <sighs> and you will probably see Eddie do wrong and I will excuse it. with gusto. Okay. Can we please look at the thing like this? Thank you. And please not fucking crash again. It's a wing. For a second there, I was it was a wig, and I'm completely sorry about that because it's not. I'm just curious how. How little karma do I have? Well, I'm still very good. So, way too much <laughs> for what I am doing on a daily basis now. to skulk. Also, I don't really need night vision right now. some parts that are a little dark, but they're okay. Uh, I should probably continue exploring the top. 
just in case. Well, they apparently do mind if I take their cups and saucers and garbage. The fuck? We're under attack. Are we? I don't know. No, I'm not going back. Hi. Oh, hey. Yes, please. Here, ghoul. A feral ghoul. How peculiar. Let's go down. I'm going to keep doing the left wall strats. Good to see you. Hi. Scribe Havel. Taking me back to Dark Souls, are you? Havel the Rock. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Good to meet you, Field Marshal. I am Scribe Havel. Chief Architect at the Vri Research Academy. Uh, do you need any help? Since you are offering, there is one thing I could use help with. As we continue to rebuild, one thing we will need a lot of is hammers and shovels. Seems rather obvious, but a good hammer is in short supply. Most tools are rather old and not in the best condition. What we need are brand new tools. I have contacted Blacksmith and convinced him to set up shop in Canterbury Commons. He can work on smithing what we need to help fix these ruins, but I haven't heard from him in some time. Would you mind checking in on him for me? I... sure. I'll go check on the Blacksmith. Thank you, Field Marshal. His name is John Copper, and like I said, you can find him in Canterbury Commons. Let me know once everything gets sorted. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh... Okay, I can open the cell. Do I really want to? I think I want to at least once. And then quickly shut them again. Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Okay, never mind. There's just one. Uh, hi. 
I'm assuming you are the field marshal. My name is Scribe Barclay, and I oversee the medical research here at the Academy. So please, try to avoid touching anything in the laboratory. You study medicine? Yes, but to be more exact, I am studying the various viruses, parasites, bacteria, and other micro microscopic horrors of the waste. Just like everything other, every other living thing since the bombs dropped, microscopic life has also been affected by the radiation. Much of my time has been spent studying a very deadly mutant parasite. Much more time than I would like to be honest. There are some bacteria samples I have been meaning to study, but the parasite is proving to be a much more pressing concern. Uh, maybe I could help you study the bacteria? I suppose you are qualified enough, well more so than most. I am primarily interested in the various ways to treat bacteria. Bacterial infection, you mean. You're treating the infection, you're not treating the bacteria. You can use the bacteria treatment ma machine in my lab to try to study different ways of treating bacteria. I would recommend reading my notebook next to the medicine or next to the machine so you have some idea of what you are doing. I will have one sample a day for you to study. If you successfully treat the sample, I will of course see that you are paid for your help. I thought the order of the shield worked on power armor. It still does for the most part, but senior scribe O'Gallagher believes we need to diversify our order's research in order to stay relevant. So now the Order of the Shield studies defensive research, which includes areas beyond just power armor. I worked on power armor before, but I had always had an interest in medicine. So I find my work much more fulfilling these days. What is with the environmental suit? In my lab, I study some of the most dangerous diseases known to man. Under my microscopes are fl flesh-eating bacteria and mind-controlling parasites. Last thing I want is to get sick, understand? You should also be working in a sealed environment, sir. Ugh, man. Yeah. A clean room, if you will. Do you work with other scribes? Also one that's quarantined from the rest of the freaking facility. Do you work with other scribes? Scribe Warmald studies radiology, so we exchange notes. I just with his, wish his test subjects weren't right next to my lab. Every time I walk by their cages, I can hear them gnawing on the bars. He says they're harmless, but I mean they are feral ghouls after all. Anyway, treatment manual. To treat the bacteria sample, first set the temperature of the sample followed by applying the correct antibiotics. Afterwards, disinfect using the correct solution. What action to take during these steps is determined by the bacteria's characteristics. Namely, its shape, flagellum, and pigment. Failure results in the bacteria mutating and changing its characteristics. Shape. Koshi, or Kochi, High heat, unless it has a dark red pigment, then keep temperate. Uh, pictures. Vakili, high heat. Spirilli, freeze if one flagellum. High heat if one flagella. Keep temperature if zero flagella. Okay. 
I don't even know. Flagellum. Uh, none. Not penicillin. Not penicillin. One flagellum. Cephalosporin, if not freezing. Otherwise, use penicillin. Multiple flagella, if is bacilla shaped and golden yellow, use macro macrolide. If just golden yellow or just back bacilli shaped, use penicillin. Otherwise, use cephalosporin. The fuck? Pigment. Shit. Dark red. Formaldehyde, unless Cauchy. Then use chlorine, but only if using penicillin. Otherwise, use alcohol. Golden yellow, if temperature is high, heat, or freeze then use formaldehyde, but only if it has flagella. Otherwise, use alcohol if no flagella. If kept temperate, then use chlorine. Is this really based on chemistry or biology? Somehow I severely doubt that. Or maybe it is. I don't know. If penicillin used, uh, is chlorine... Uh, fuck, dude. Oh. I let's give it a try. To treat the bacteria sample, first set the temperature of the sample, followed by applying the correct antibiotics. Afterwards, disinfect using the correct solution. What action to take during these steps is determined by the bacteria's characteristics, namely its shape, flagellum, and color. Failure results in the bacteria mutating and changing its characteristics. Read the manual on the table for more information. Start. Bacteria has a spirilli, spirilli shape with multiple flagella and a dark red pigment. Pigment, please t set the temperature. Oh my god. I... I... I have questions and no answers whatsoever. I am going to put this in my screenshots folder and keep them there. Okay, and now it's... FNV issues and mods fine oh my god okay so your spirilli freeze if one flagellum high heat if more than one flagella keep temperature temperate if zero flagella so we freeze or no we we do high heat one high heat of more keep temperature uh, keep temperature of zero uh high heat high heat the bacteria has a spurly shape with multiple flagella and a dark red pigment pigment okay what now can I please turn to the next image? So, I'm going to choose an antibiotic. So we have, okay, no flagellum, no penicillin. It has multiple flagella. If it is bacilli shaped, okay. If just golden yellow or just bacilli shaped, use penicillin. Otherwise, use cephalosporin. So I'll take it cephalosporin. Uh, macrolide, macrolide. Weird. 
basilisk shaped and golden yellow. If just golden yellow or just basilisk shaped, use penicillin. Otherwise, use cephalosporin. So, cephalosporin. Spurly shape. Choose a disinfectant. Okay. So, disinfectant. Uh, okay. So, the pigment. It is a dark red pigment. Formaldehyde, unless Cauchy, then use chlorine, but only if using penicillin, otherwise use alcohol. Huh. Unless Cauchy. So formaldehyde. If it is Cauchy, then use chlorine only if using penicillin, otherwise use alcohol if it's a Cauchy, and not using penicillin. Okay, so for formaldehyde, you say. It is time. It is time. Attempt to treat the bacteria. Start. You successfully treated the bacteria. Okay. Uh, okay. I can do for you. I treated a bacteria sample. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too difficult for you. Here, as a reward, I can offer you my experimental drug. I've been working on. It's a stim pack, and Radway rolled into one, a stim away. You can work on another sample tomorrow, and I'll be sure to reward you once more for your efforts. Fascinating. You have a recipe for that? Because I'd prefer that to the... Never mind. Anyway, um... Okay. Uh, we're not going to admin. Hey. Robles. I'm sorry, but you are probably looking for someone else. I'm Apprentice Robles, and I'm from the Order of the Quill. I'm just here to help with managing the archive for the Order of the Shield. You don't look very happy. That is, because I am not. But I'm stuck here due to no fault but my own. You know, I was supposed to be a knight, but I just couldn't make it through initiate training. So I got transferred over to the Order of the Quill, where I am destined to shuffle paper for the rest of my life. Huh. Shows it in the console. Why does it show it in the console? It's okay, you weren't cut out to be a knight. You'll find meaning as a scribe. Uh, why didn't you complete initiate training? I, I, I just couldn't finish it. I was close though, really close. After the first week of training, I was ready to quit. My claustrophobia made it almost impossible for me to ever wear power armor. I wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for another initiate, this girl in my cohort. She encouraged to put me to push on and to give it my all, and I did. Just to impress her and make her proud of me, I pushed myself harder than I ever have in my life. But then a week before taking the oath, my heart condition... I was born with got worse, and, well, I was told I was going to be a liability, so I was sent off to be a scribe. What happened to the girl? She finished her training and became a knight. I haven't heard from her since initiate training. Since you travel a lot, do you think you ever run into her or you could tell her hello for me? Sure, I can talk to her if I ever see her. Really? Great! Her name is Susan She. Although, she probably goes by night she now. Just tell her Stefan Robles says hello, or something like that. Uh, how is running with the archive? It's not the best job in the world. There are so many blueprints and schematics to keep track of. Do you know what the difference is between a suit of T-45A power armor and a suit of T-45B power armor? 
because I certainly don't. So, do you just manage the Order of the Shields archive? That's right. Senior Scribe Bo Gallagher accepted Senior Scribe Combs' offer of help from the Order of the Quill. He offered to help the Senior Scribe free over at the Order of the Sword, but she refused. From what I hear, she is very protective of her Order's archives and doesn't want anyone outside the Order touching them. I really don't understand the politics of scribes, so don't ask me to explain. What are your thoughts on the Order of the Quill? They're a bunch of pencil pushers, if you ask me, who spend their days reading old books. I mean, they're nice people and all, but it seems like the Order of the Shield and Sword are where all of the interesting research is happening. Dots. Uh, please don't tell Senior Scribe Combs I said that. So long. Actually, I want to talk more. Where is she? Did you find her? Uh, where am I supposed to find this girl? Like I said, I haven't heard from her since I was at the Citadel. Maybe you can find her at a Brotherhood base. Maybe you will run into her on patrol. Please don't think you have to find her. Just, if you do run into her out there, I would appreciate it if you said hello for me. I know it is a lot to ask. Uh, why is it important? I don't know. I just want to make sure she is still okay. It's a dangerous life being a knight. She just reminds me of a time when I still had hope in my life, and I guess I'm just curious if she still remembers me. I haven't run into her. I see. Well, thank you. Okay, we'll look into that later. Huh. Fascinating. He's claustrophobic, but working in a room that is so claustrophobic it hurts. So ironic. Terrible. Oh, hi. Warmold. Oh, hello there, young lady. You must be the field marshal. Allow me to introduce, my, to, to introduce myself. I am Scribe Warmold, chief radiologist, radiobiologist for the Brotherhood of Steel, which means I have the pleasure of studying feral ghouls and their, well, something. As test subject? That's right, and I'm always on the hunt for more. Feral ghouls may be resilient to radiation, but otherwise they can be rather fragile. They are, after all, undead lepers. Yeah, it's true. Say, would you be interested in helping an old man acquire more test subjects for his research? Sure. Wonderful. I am looking for a type of feral ghoul known as a glowing one. I am sure you have had run-ins with them during your travels. It would be marvelous to study one up close. If you wouldn't mind, I would be overjoyed if you found one and brought it back to me. Uh, am I supposed to bring a glowing one back? Excellent question, which I thankfully have the answer for. I have reprogrammed this mesmatron to work on feral ghouls. I call it the Mesogul. Their brains are mushier, so the wavelength has been altered to accommodate such mush. Simply point this at a glowing one, slap a collar onto it, and it will loyally follow you here. The only problem is that it might not always work, so you may have to try more than once with different ferals. Still, the good news is that the Mesmetron recharges, so no need to worry about ammo for it. Well, good hunting, Field Marshal. Um, okay. Why is the Order of the Shield interest in feral ghouls? I study radiation, which is, which of course involves the study of ghouls, but before I moved my lab here, my research went towards improving the radiation protection on power armor. I worked alongside Scribe, Scribe Proctor, 
an expert in radiobiology before her disappearance. Uh, she's in Wheaton Armory, you know. Anyhow, it is interesting work, but not very good for your health. I find myself popping Red X all the time. <laughs> you mentioned working with Scribe Proctor, right? Yes. Do you know what happened to her? She disappeared during an expedition many years ago and has not been seen since. I always thought she had died. Scribe Proctor is alive, but now a ghoul. A ghoul, you say? A tragic yet fascinating development. Still, it is good to hear she is alive. I can ask Red Proctor if she would like to work with you. Fantastic. It truly has been so long. Shh. Thank you, Field Marshal. You have made an old man's day just a bit brighter. I'm guessing you have been a scribe for a while? Oh yes, a very long time. I suppose you could say I am a... I am starting to look like a ghoul myself. <laughs> I've had a good career. I try not to involve myself in any organizational politics and just focus on my own, my work. So far, that has been working wonders for me. I only wish the younger scribes could avoid all this bickering among the orders. But now the brother has Brotherhood has more resources than it ever has in my lifetime, and everyone wants their slice of the pie. What is it like studying feral ghouls? <coughs> feral ghouls are very interesting subjects to research. They are the thin line that separates humans from monsters. Every once in a while, I can see the residuals of the human they once were. For example, I once tossed one of my test subjects a hat, and it instinctively placed it upon its head, only to immediately attempt to devour the hat afterwards, however. There is no cure for their condition, but perhaps I might learn how to save others from such a cursed existence. Do you work with other scribes? Oh, I am always bothering Scribe Barclay to share notes on medical treatments for radiation. And to snag a few Red X from him, too. <laughs> Lord knows I could use it. My test subjects are always leaking radiation. I also sometimes grab a coffee with Scribe M Massey. She studies super mutants over at the Order of the Sword. We both have an interest in those that are nearly human. Remind me how to do the thing? Mezgul, I gave you. If it works, which sometimes it doesn't, have the ghoul follow you back here. Easy enough, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Safe travels. Alright, I have a timer in front of my face, so having a small break to clean up some windows I had opened for the bacteria thing. Uh, yeah, and I can't do that yet. Checking the time as well, it's nearly an hour, okay. Not bad, I'm also having a drink. Pitching my voice lower for the old folks is a bit tiring on the throat. For obvious reasons. <coughs> Um, okay, let's continue. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hello, Field Marshal. I will keep the introduction short. I am Scribe Nyo. 
No. I don't really know. I have been charged with studying combat armor. Now, is there anything you require of me? If not, I have much work to do. Anything I can do to help your research? Well, there is one thing you could help me with, but I'm not sure you would be up to it. I am working on a flame or fire resistant suit of combat armor, but I need more data. So if you want to help, you can set yourself on fire and record the results. Okay, I will. Perfect. I assure you this experiment will be conducted in the safest way possible. You will be using the fire resistant suit. It will protect you from burns while also using a device embedded in it to collect data on the results of the experiment. In order for the outfit's device to collect enough data, you will need to be on fire for at least 10 seconds. So go out there and set yourself on fire. I am sure that can't be too hard for you. Just remember to be wearing the fire resistant suit I gave you while you are on fire. Best of luck. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah. I guess I'm doing that now. Jesus Christ. Um, mer, mer, mer. Okay, what about me here? Hey, it's a liberator. Good on you for coming out of the pit to join us. Well, okay then. Uh, idea. Flame resistance suit. There isn't really a way. Hi. Food is ready. Okay. Save some for Brian, though. Yeah, I will. Uh, start the test and then TCL. And then back into it. We got him? No, we don't. Well, I think I need to turn TCL off when I do get in there. And I can't really trigger this from out from inside. So, it's TCL now. Get this, start the test, then TCL off. Or TCL on to get set on fire. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Evening. Guess not. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Um, we'll uh, figure that out later, then. Interesting idea, but not very efficient. Klein. Hi, I'm Apprentice Klein. Can I help you? Probably not, but I figured I'd ask just in case. 
uh, what do you do around here? I just help wherever I can. That mostly involves running paperwork around and sometimes grabbing coffee for the scribes. If I am lucky, I should be able to become a journeyman soon and begin some real research. Enjoying your time at the Academy? Uh, well, yes, but also no, but mainly yes. It kind of sucks just doing paperwork and not getting to participate in any real research, but I know it will be worth it. After all, what is the alternative, being some illiterate wastelander? Uh, or worse, getting yelled at by Paladin and Gunny all day. My short time in mandatory combat training was enough to last me a lifetime. Okay, so even scribes received combat training. Everyone in the Brotherhood does. Wasteland is a dangerous place, so it doesn't hurt to know how to use a laser pistol. After a brief training period, you get to decide if you want to stick with it or and become an initiate, or apply to become a scribe. I was smart enough to earn an apprenticeship. I can't imagine what it would be like to patrol the wastes all day. Although, maybe if I had power armor, it would be easier to carry around all this paperwork. Later. O'Gallagher. Welcome to the offices of the Order of the Shield, Field Marshal. I am Senior Scribe O'Gallagher, and I head Shield Research here. If you, if you have any questions, I am sure someone will be able to help. Uh, do you need any help? I don't need help myself, but I am sure you can find a scribe looking for a hand with their research. Okay. What research in the Order of Shield undertaking? As has always been the Order's duty, we study power armor and improve upon the Brotherhood's no noblest garb. But we are expanding our research to other areas as well, such as architecture, medicine, and radiology. In short, we are studying what will strengthen the defense of the Brotherhood, whether it be power armor or other sciences. Uh, what did you do before being placed in charge of the Order of the Shield here? I did what most of the Order of the Shield did. I studied power armor. I regret that my duties here do not allow me to focus as much on research. But I am honored Proctor Bowditch chose me to lead the Shield's research here at the Academy. Is everyone getting along well here? We are all working dutifully on our research. When I took this position, I made it clear that I expected every scribe to carry out their duties with complete commitment. With that expectation also comes respect, respect which I know each scribe will show one another. Cooperation is integral, is an integral part of our work here, a fact that everyone seems to understand. Everyone except scribe no, I am afraid. If she wants to work in a cutthroat environment that values competition over collaboration, then she can transfer to the Order of the Sword. What's your problem with you? She's one of the brightest scribes I know, but she can't stand to have other people look over her notes. Nyo refuses to work with others and would rather work alone if it meant she didn't have to credit anyone else's help. We have both been scribes for the same amount of time. In fact, we both apprenticed under the same scribe. I'll admit that she is certainly smarter than I am, no denying that, but I was still given the title of senior scribe. Why? Because I know how to work with others. She can't expect to administrate others if she won't even speak to them like equals. She thinks she is up against the entire world, but that is her hill to get over. Do you work with other scribes? With other scribe orders? I get along perfectly with 
perfectly well with senior scribe Combs and his scribes at the Order of the Quill. They always share with us the new power armor schematics they uncover in some forgotten archive. But try as I might, I receive nothing but a cold shoulder from senior scribe Vri at the Order of the Sword. Bureaucratic politics have always been a part of the scribe orders, and while some like Scribe Warmold and Scribe Macy or Massey just focus on their research, Senior Scribe Vree seems to enjoy climbing the ladder. And as far as she is concerned, there is only enough room for one at the top. Her act just screams insecurity, and her lavish office confirms it. Her whole attitude is just not very conductive to the pursuit of science, if you ask me. Okay. Later. Okay. Hmm. Mullen. Greetings, Field Marshal. I am Scribe Mullen. I researched the T45B or T45 series of Power Armor, so if you have any questions about my work, please don't hesitate to ask. Do you need help with your research? Perhaps there is something you can help with. Help me with. I've been thinking, why should it just be knights who get to use Power Armor? Field scribes often find themselves caught in firefights or knee-deep in hazardous material. I think it is about time scribes receive their own suit of power armor. Do most scribes even know how to use power armor? Well, no, scribes are not often afforded power armor training. I myself don't know how to use power armor. That is why my scribe power armor is designed to be easily accessible. But if I were to receive some power armor training, it would greatly help with my research. So, are you interested in teaching me how to use power armor? Uh, I can train you. Wonderful. Let me put on a suit of power armor and we can get started. Now, I may not be as young as I used to be, but I trust your knowledge of athleticism will see that I succeed. Your chance of success at training Scribe Mullen on how to use power armor is influenced by your strength, agility, and endurance. The higher these stats are, the more likely you are to succeed. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get started. All right. Um, just focusing on focus on loosening up and getting comfortable in the suit. Right. Loosening up. Focus on building your core. Learn to let the suit carry you. Letting the suit carry me. Focus on building your core. Use the power of the suit to supplement your own strength. Let's do this. Okay. Cool. You doing good? Field Marshal? Uh, how are you enjoying the... Uh, do we... Uh, that's right. It is not as advanced or as durable as T-51B, but it is reliable and easy to repair. Good enough for knights to do their duty. Although, I need to look more in improving the servos. How are you enjoying Vrie Research Academy? I appreciate having a space dedicated to scholarly pursuits. Most of the time in the Brotherhood, knights and paladins receive preferential treatment. Which is to be expected. We are a militaristic organization. However, it is nice to have a place to work without the scrutiny of the older paladins. Always looking over our shoulders to ensure we are following the codex to the letter. Do you work alongside other scribes? Occasionally, Scribe Frazier will share her research on the enclave armor she is studying it's pretty interesting stuff although i primarily work alongside scribe finney a devoted scribe if there ever was one 
While I may view power armor as a piece of equipment, Scribe Finney seems to think of them as holy relics. He is very protective of not only his T-51B research, but the suits of T-51B themselves. I asked once to borrow a few parts from an old suit once, and he refused. He said I would be desecrating the power armor. Interesting. Uh, yeah, T-45D, Frazier. Mm -hmm. Uh, alright, I'll we'll talk to her. Well, hello, Field Marshal. I am Scribe Frazier at your service. If you have any questions about Enclave models of power armor, I am the one to help. How is your research going? Research on Enclave power armor is going rather well, all things considered. Although I have hit a wall with my Tesla power armor research, perhaps you might be interested in lending me a hand. Uh, what's the problem? Power supply is the problem, which is a rather serious issue when dealing with power armor. I can't seem to properly regulate the power supply for the suit. The suit shuts down because it is either overloaded or underpowered. The power supply fluctuates greatly, making it difficult to find the optimal charge. How can I help? You can use the console in the center of my workshop to adjust the power armor's energy supply. Use it to increase and decrease the supply of power to reach an optimal power level between 20 and 24 units of power. You will only have three tries to adjust the power to optimal levels before the system restarts and you have to start over. I hope you have better success than I have. Thank you, Field Marshal. Um, what makes Enclave Power Armor different? Well, it is more technologically advanced, for one. Most of our power armor is from before the war, but the Enclave had an extra 200 years for R&D. I mean, scribes have made improvements to T-51 and T-45 series power armor over time, don't get me wrong, but the Enclave had the resources to invest resources into their power armor scribes. Well, into their power armor scribes could only dream about. I'm still surprised we defeated them. They had some really impressive tech. And, but then again, we had a giant robot, so who knows. Why aren't more Brotherhood Knights using Enclave Power Armor? We simply don't have enough Enclave Power Armor to go around. And plus, the older Power Armor is easier to maintain, given what we have on hand. But even if we did have more suits, I'm not sure most brothers would want to wear Enclave Power Armor. Hellfire Power Armor may be the most advanced power armor in the world, but most paladins would still pick the T-51B to wear into combat. Hell, one reason I designed a new model of Tesla armor is most paladins liked the tech, but couldn't bring themselves to wear the Enclave design. It could be the older models are more reliable in the field, but I think it's also a bit of brand loyalty mixed with nostalgia. Where do you get your Enclave armor? I get the armor mainly off corpses, at least that's what the smell would imply. Sadly, much of the Enclave's armory was reduced to rubble, due to the destruction of both Raven Rock and Adams Air Force Base. It's rare I find a suit of Enclave power armor that hasn't had some wear and tear, but I understand that the nicer suits are needed in the field. Do you work alongside other scribes? I frequently exchange notes with the others that study power armor, Scribe Mullen and Finney. Scribe Mullen and I go way back, but Scribe Finney has always been, well, interesting to work alongside. He truly reveres power armor, and I think he believes my Enclave power armor is cursed or something. 
Still, he knows his way around a suit of 251B power armor, that's for sure. Remind me how I'm supposed to fix these shoes. Main problem with power supply, console in the center of the workshop, power supplied. Optimal power level between 20 and 24 units. Too much or too little suit systems. Okay. Uh huh. Let's give it a try. 10 units. If the suit has more than 30 units of power, it will overload. If the suit has less than 5 units, it will shut down. You have used one of three tries to secure an optimal power level or between 20 of between 20 and 24. Um, uh, um, uh, greatly and slightly would get us there probably slightly congratulations you successfully calculated the power necessary for the Tesla cool Frazier anything I can do I uh, fix the power supply issues wonderful that is one less issue I have to stress about. Here, it is only fair that you receive a suit of the armor considering how much you helped. Enjoy testing the Tesla power armor in the field. Fascinating. Uh, Brotherhood Tesla armor. Not Enclave Tesla. Right, the wasteland, yeah, yeah, yeah. Door into closet. Door into closet. That I've already discovered. <clears throat> okay. I. Ewing. Right, I kind of turned around and not did shit. <clears throat> Klein. Thinny. Okay, we'll talk to this guy once I take a break um, to get dinner and such. Uh, the VRA has a lot of people to talk to, apparently. So anyway, here's my spiel. I am Lifeseeker128 on both YouTube and Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, go see my YouTube. I've got all the VODs there. If you're watching on YouTube, go see my Twitch. I'm probably streaming live right now. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my channels. And if you dislike, please leave a comment describing what you dislike, uh, kind of specifically, so I can fix it. And, um, as always, there is more to come today and tomorrow and maybe the next day, and we'll see. I probably have some real-life stuff to work out uh, in the mornings, but the afternoons and evenings are good for me to stream. So, check me out. More to come.